it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So my style is very like bright, girly, fun, a little bit of boho here and there. But today I'm throwing all of that out the window and dressing like Safia Nygaard. Safia is another YouTuber. If you didn't know, she's been like blowing up the internet the past few years and her content honestly really inspires me. It's very unique. There's high production quality. I'm a big fan. And she wears a lot of really crazy outfits in her videos. Pretty much any style that you can think of, Safia has probably tried it. Now, usually when I do these style swap videos, I wear outfits that that person was wearing on their Instagram, kind of like their daily go-to typical outfits. But for this episode, we're switching it up a little bit. I'm doing three outfits that Safia wore for her YouTube videos, and then one outfit that's actually in her personal style that I got from her Instagram. It's gonna be a weird week. Let's get into it. <laughs> The first outfit that I chose is from Safia's video where she dressed like different Bratz dolls for a week. I chose the outfit from her thumbnail where she's dressing like the Bratz doll Jade. So this outfit consisted of dark wash, low rise flared jeans, a tight yellow tank top, matching yellow newsboy cap, and a big fluffy, very extra purple coat. Now I'm 22, so I actually grew up in like the Bratz doll era. I remember in elementary school, like all my friends thinking the Bratz dolls dress so cool. Anyone who had one was super awesome and their parents must have been like the coolest ever. So even though this outfit definitely isn't my particular style, I was pretty psyched to wear it. Oh man, I am so not comfortable with the way my body looks in low-waisted jeans. I like always wear high-waisted jeans and these are like so low-rise, they're giving me like the biggest love handles, but I mean the Bratz dolls were 90s. That was a very 90s look. Okay, now I totally feel like a Bratz doll. Oh my gosh. Okay, the little yellow newsboy cap like pulls the thing together, but it's really this big purple fluffy coat. <laughs> I remember when like the Bratz dolls were a thing because I was in elementary school and my mom wouldn't let me have one because she didn't like that they were called Bratz. So she was like, no, you can't have that. You can have a Barbie. <laughs> so I never had a Bratz doll, but I always wanted one. So I guess I'm living my best life now. Mom, look at me now. I'm a brat. I'm a brat, mom. <laughs> when I turn the camera like this, it's like all purple fur. Like that's all you get. <laughs> okay, so other than being uncomfortable with the low waisted jeans combined with the tight tank top around my like hips and my midsection, I am kind of living my best life in this outfit. I, <laughs> I like this because I feel like a Bratz doll, I really do. Okay, so I'm sitting at my editing desk. My computer is right here. I've been doing some work and uh, it's been a couple hours I've been in this outfit now, so I do have some updates. It is very warm. Wherever the Bratz dolls live that they need a coat like this, they probably are dying. Safia must have been very, very warm when she was filming this video because she also filmed it outside. I'm inside, at least I have my air conditioning going and it's also like fall, so it shouldn't even be that hot, it's just, it's a very warm coat. Also, the coat is causing some other problems. It sheds, so periodically, this tank top will just kind of have like a purple hue to it because of all the, the fuzz <laughs> of the jacket. I haven't been out in public yet with this outfit, but I'm sure I'm gonna get some looks because uh, this is a unique, a unique outfit for sure. Here are the shoes. They are shiny silver little like sandals. I think Safias were platform shoes, but these are just gonna have to do because they were the closest I could find in a similar style, but definitely very Bratz doll, very 90s. All right, this Bratz doll is heading to Starbucks. Okay, bye. Bye. Should I strike a Bratz pose? Ooh, that's a brat. Oh, yikes, okay, yep. Yikes. <laughs> That's spooky. Okay, I gotta take the camera with me. Look at the air conditioning glowing my coat. <laughs> Sorry about that delay. What are we starting for you? Hi, can I get a train to iced passion tea with no sweetener? Hi, how Hi. Are you? I'm good, how are you? I like your jacket. Oh, thank you. The barista said he liked my jacket. <laughs> so I guess that's something. Definitely the kind of jacket that'll catch your attention, that's for sure. Whether it's a good way or a bad way. I guess the barista liked it in a good way. So the novelty of this outfit wore off pretty quick. In the morning, I was like channeling my inner Bratz diva. I was working it in that purple coat, but the low rise jeans paired with a tight form fitting tank top made me feel uncomfortable pretty quick. I'm just so used to like high rise everything. I kind of forget that like the low rise jeans were the thing in the nineties, but this was fun and different. And I was definitely excited to change out of it by the time the day was over. 
Sophia has a series on her channel where she dresses like different decades, so outfit number two is from her 1967 video. My personal style does lean a little bit boho, so I was pretty excited for this one. I had high hopes. I'm wearing an orange floral dress, tall gladiator sandals, an orange headband, and circle hippie style glasses. Now let's see how this outfit worked. Roll the footage. So I'm wearing this orange floral dress from Forever 21 that's pretty similar to the one that she's wearing in her video. And I've been wearing this all morning while I was editing and doing emails, but now I'm actually about to leave the house for the first time today, which means I need to put on the shoes and the sunglasses and actually pull the whole outfit together. So I have these super tall gladiator sandals and I used to have a pair of shoes like this in middle school, but haven't worn something like this since. <laughs> Almost forgot one of the key items, my uh, super summer of love hippie headband. It's this little like orange knit headband. I was trying to find something really similar to what Safiya had in her video. And the closest thing I could find was oddly enough listed on World Market. No idea why, but it's actually pretty cute. I typically don't wear headbands straight across my head, usually wear them to pull my hair back, but uh, this is definitely getting pretty close to the look that she had in her video, especially with these sandals. So this outfit is from Sophia's video where she dresses like it's 1967. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, well, some people like to dress vintage. Maybe this will just blend in, but I feel like no one dresses like 60s, 70s era vintage. It's always like 50s with like the, the longer skirts and like the high waistlines and more like pinup style. And this is more like flower child style. So I don't think it's gonna pass for vintage, but definitely, could probably pass for Halloween costume. <laughs> All right, Sierra, where are we? All right, we are at a winery for my friend's show, and I am dressed like a flower child in the summer of love, 1967. So I'm kind of torn with this outfit. So I actually really like the dress and the headband and the glasses, but the shoes are kind of terrible. Like they're really, really big. And so they just don't fit comfortably and they like fall down and they're scratching me. And the pair of shoes that I had that were like this in middle school were like lace up so I could make them fit my calves perfectly. And I don't have like particularly small calves or anything. So it's just strange to me that they're so big. But you know, I have to say, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite outfits of the week considering what's still to come. <laughs> Sophia Nygaard must have a lot of courage to film in public as much as she does because we're out here just in this little vineyard. There's only a couple people around and I'm still a little bit like, ooh, wearing this in public is so like different and eye-catching from my regular style. I dress pretty like mainstream most of the time. So it definitely takes a, a lot of courage to film as much as she does and all the crazy outfits she does pretty good in this outfit. The only thing that I didn't like were the shoes. Those got uncomfortable really quick after just a little bit of walking. I was ready to take them off. But the headband, the hippie glasses, the warm toned floral dress, I really liked it. It was really fun and not something I usually would pick for myself. I liked this one. It kind of made me wish it was 1967 like every day. So this kind of style was normal. I was, I was definitely channeling my inner flower child. The third look I chose is another one from Sophia's Through the Decades series, and this one is from 1987. I replicated her late 80s outfit with some acid wash jeans, a light wash denim jacket, hoop earrings, and a black hat. The denim on denim thing makes me think like late 90s Disney Channel, like all those old red carpet photos that we all cringe at now. But honestly, Sophia rocked it in her video. Like for some reason, this style just really worked for her. So let's see if it worked as well on me. I feel like a fake hipster. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day three of dressing like Safiya Nygaard. Today's outfit comes from her video where she dressed like it was 1987. And uh, I was born in 1996, so I wasn't even around for uh, these trends, the uh, light wash, jean on jean trend. And I'm supposed to have hoop earrings, and I swear I ordered them, but they weren't in the box, so I'm gonna go to Target when I do my grocery shopping and get some hoop earrings to complete the look. Safiya's also wearing pink Converse, but when I tried to go and order them, they were $54, and your girl's on a budget, so we're just gonna skip the shoes for this outfit, but everything else, pretty similar to hers. Okay, so now I'm upstairs. I was just editing for a while, so I can actually give you guys the full pan of the outfit. I have the cuffed 
what is this called? Like acid wash jeans, super distressed denim jacket. And then Safia was just wearing a white shirt underneath. You can't really see it anyway. So I'm wearing my Curvy Crew shirt. This is from my merch line, Subtle Plug, thecurvycrew.com. Check it out. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel like a dad in their 40s who's like a failed rock star, but is still trying to like live that life. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I think it's the hat. Like the, the jean on jean acid wash, light wash is you know, it's, it's all right, it's 90s, or I guess this is late 80s. And this would definitely have to be the most comfortable outfit so far. This is pretty comfortable, the jeans are stretchy, they fit me well, and even though I never really wear jeans that are like looser around the ankles, I kind of like it. They're like that like mom jean, girlfriend jean fit, and I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of digging it, which I'm surprised about, because I didn't think that I would like the fit of these pants. <laughs> target, Target, Target! Was there a Target in 1987? Well, if there wasn't, I'm glad I wasn't alive back then. <laughs> I think just about every video I've done where I dress like someone for a week, I always end up at Target at some point, which if you watch my vlogs, you already know how often I go to Target. It's borderline embarrassing. We're gonna roll with it today. We actually do need something. We're looking for those hoop earrings. Here we go. Those look pretty similar. Little simple silver hoops that'll work just fine. Okay, earrings are on. I am officially a 1987 girl. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I pretty much never wear earrings. Obviously the holes haven't closed, but my ears might be a little sore at the end of the day, depending on how heavy these are. They feel pretty light right now. All right, it's getting late. I don't know where my hat went. I think it's on the floor. I've been at my desk for like six hours. It's been a while. Still got the earrings on though, and the jacket and the pants, which my dogs are fighting on the ground, so enjoy that nice view. What do you think of this outfit, little girl? What do you think? You like it? You like it? I think 10 hours in this outfit is probably enough, so I'm gonna go put on my pajamas and uh, set out my clothes for the last day, tomorrow. Yeah, definitely did not rock this one as well as Sophia. I don't know if it was like in my head or it just didn't work for my figure and like my style, but this one just didn't, didn't work for me. The jeans in this outfit were way more comfortable than the ones that I wore for the Bratz doll, so that was a plus. It just made it easier to be in for a whole day. And it's funny because even though I didn't like this outfit, I actually like each of the individual pieces in the look. Like I can see myself wearing the denim jacket with like a cute little dress and the hat with like a black romper. Even the jeans I think I could style, but just all together mixed into one outfit, I think it was just a little bit too like retro hip for me. Your girl's just not a hipster. I can't pull it off. Outfit number four is actually in Sophia's own personal style. So not dressing like her, dressing like someone. This is actually what kind of clothes she wears. From her Instagram, it's clear that she likes a lot of black. So I picked an outfit from one of her Instagram photos where she's wearing a black romper, or maybe it's a dress, but it has definition at the waist. A black jacket and little black booties. I was actually able to pull items from my own closet to recreate this look. I didn't even have to buy anything. So maybe me and Sophia's styles are more similar than I originally thought. She rocks the all black look. Let's see how it worked for me. Hello, hello. It is the last day of dressing like Safia Nygaard and today I'm actually dressing like her. So I am wearing a black romper similar to the one that she was wearing in her Instagram picture and then over the top she had a black jacket and I couldn't tell if it was suede or leather in the picture so I just went with a leather jacket and then I'm gonna put on some black combat boots to match later when I'm actually leaving the house because not trying to get my carpet all dirty with shoes. <laughs> so I don't really wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of really bright colors. And when I do wear black, I feel like it's usually at night, like going out. So I associate like black, like all black with like going out. So I'm like, oh, okay. This is like an outfit I could wear like out to dinner or out to a bar. You know, I just, I feel like that's, my association with wearing all black, but that's not what I'm doing today at all. It's Sunday and I've been working at my desk this morning, so I'm about to go make myself a little snack, and then later in the day, Steven and I are gonna be going out to uh, actually play some Pokemon Go if I wanna just embarrass myself a little bit. So I just filmed the part where I'm like posing in front of the white background. I've had this down for four days straight. Usually I hang it up right after I film, but since I was doing it every day, I didn't. But now, I can hang, hang up the paper roll. Made myself a little power snack. I got a rice cake, some peanut butter, some coconut. I'm ready to go play some Pokemon. Also, even looking in the viewfinder right now, I feel like I'm like 
I'm ready to like go out. I don't know why, maybe it's compared to yesterday's outfit, which I wasn't wearing makeup, which I am now. I didn't have my hair done, which I straightened it this morning. And I was in like a more tomboyish outfit. I guess a less feminine outfit because it was like just jeans on jeans. I had like the Steven Tyler hat. And this outfit is you know, it's like classy, it's put together, it's comfortable. Sophia's romper had definition at the waist, so does my romper, which you guys know from my fashion videos that that's one of the things that always makes me feel comfortable in a romper or a dress. All right, so I was just editing this video and all of the audio on this clip is messed up because of the wind, so I'm sorry about it. I'm pretty much just talking about how this outfit is my favorite. I love the combat boots. It's way less costumey of an outfit than the other ones that I wore. This one is, you know, more socially acceptable on a daily basis. So this outfit just made me feel comfortable and it was perfect for going out there and catching all the Pokemons. Even though I'm usually more drawn to bright colors and florals and patterns, I felt really good in the all black kind of edgy Safia look. All black kind of kind of makes me channel my inner badass. I get why she likes it so much. I don't think I'll be doing away with all the color in my wardrobe anytime soon, but after today, I feel more confident in going for darker colors and more edgy looks. I expected this week to be a little weird, dressing in so many different styles that she wore on her channel, but one thing that really surprised me is, how do I say this? How ballsy Safia actually must be to wear all these weird outfits and different styles out in public. Like seriously, to be able to confidently wear all these out there styles and strut around in LA, that takes a lot of confidence. I definitely felt a little bit embarrassed and out of place and like people were looking at me at times throughout the week. So 10 points to Safia for being so gutsy. This week also encouraged me to experiment with my style a little bit more in my day-to-day -day life. I really, really enjoyed trying some of these outfits that I never would have tried otherwise. It was a lot of fun trying outfits that are so far from my typical style. I think I'll definitely try switching it up a little bit more often. Maybe, maybe not to like Bratz doll level, but somewhere in between. So my favorite outfit of the week has to be number four, regular Safia style. It was edgy and different, but not too far from my regular everyday style that I felt uncomfortable. Also, we love to find waistline and her romper had that. So I was really glad I was able to pick a romper from my closet that also had the defined waistline that made me feel way more confident and like it was flattering my figure. My least favorite outfit has to be the third one, 1987. The light wash jean on jean look just made me feel like so uncomfortable. It just wasn't for me. I didn't work it. I didn't feel confident. And like I said, I liked all the individual pieces, just pulling them all together. I think I'll stay away from 80s fashion. But a little surprise twist, my favorite piece in the video would probably be the light wash denim jacket from outfit number three. Even though I didn't like the whole outfit, this jacket is just so cute to me. I love the distressing on the back and I think it'll be really cute to pair with like a floral dress or even some leggings and a sweater. I think that'd be cute. So I've done a few of these style swap videos before. I dressed like Alicia Marie, Kylie Jenner, Trisha Paytas, that was a fun one. So if you wanna see more videos like this, you can click that card right there for my style swap playlist. And do make sure you are subscribed. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday all about fashion and body positivity. Join the family. And I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye.